what is up YouTube it's your average Joe with another video um, in today's video we're gonna be going over the differences between regular campsites and dispersed camping uh, now what is dispersed camping well dispersed camping is also known as boondocking or overlanding um, everyone has their own definition on what it is but to us it's simply camping in very remote places we could be in the middle of the forest uh, we could be on top of a mountain <laughs> usually traveling the roads less traveled <laughs> with that said let's get right into the differences between the two starting with the regular campsites at the end of this video we will be going over which one we prefer and why <laughs> so now let's get started with the regular campsites so some of the pros with the regular campsites is they usually have everything you need. Um, they usually have running water, some have uh, RV hookups so you pretty much have electricity. A lot of them have convenience stores so if you forget anything food or drink wise or if you run out, they usually have a convenience store on site for your convenience. <laughs> Most of them have bathrooms, running water, plumbing, toilets, and also showers. So it's pretty nice to have. Uh, we're here right now at Riverside, right next to this beautiful river. Um, our campsite is right there <laughs> amongst those trees. I know some campsites that even have their own laundry facility. And uh, the one next door to us actually has its own restaurant too that stays open pretty late. So it's kind of nice. Now some of the cons of campsites is they're very expensive. Um, this one in particular, we're at Riverside right now in Big Sur, is about $140, $150 a night. So if you spend two, three nights here, that's almost $500, which is crazy. That's so expensive. <laughs> a lot of the campsites here too are very close to each other, so you don't really get any privacy. Um, you know, I can hear people talking from two, three campsites down. So that's just what comes with a, you know, a nice dedicated campsite like this is, you know, everyone wants to be here. It's a nice place. <laughs> And speaking of those campsites being close together, sometimes you're right next to a really loud camp. <laughs> People that just party all night and very loud, screaming at the top of their lungs. So that's something that comes with regular camping as well. <laughs> so yeah, you don't get as much privacy as you would like. Another thing too with regular campsites is they have rules. So they have a rule with their fires, has to be out by 11 o'clock. Um, they also have rules with noise, so I think over here by 10 o'clock can't have any music and you know you can't be loud or they will kick you out. <laughs> so those are just some of the pros and cons of camping from our experience. Um, so now let's get into dispersed camping. So some of the pros of dispersed camping is the location themselves. Uh, getting to these locations is literally half the journey. <laughs> Now dispersed camping is a little bit different, so a lot of dispersed camping sites are usually remote. Um, usually you need a four-wheel drive car or an all-wheel drive car, but not necessary. I've actually seen some people up in a mountain where I was like, wow, you took your Honda Civic up here. That's crazy. <laughs> These areas are very remote, so you usually have no neighbors. So you can be as loud as you want, as quiet as you want. You can hear the birds and animals and everything so yeah you usually have no neighbors to bother you and definitely way more privacy than regular camping to us it's a little bit more exciting um, like i said getting to the dispersed camping locations usually you have to drive really far out usually in the middle of nowhere but some of these locations are pretty much what your wallpapers are made out of so super beautiful to see um, that's why we love dispersed camping um, a really big pro for us with this curse camping is it is free free <laughs> you could actually camp up to I think two weeks three weeks or two weeks I think you can camp up to 14 days on one spot for free versus the regular campsite that we're here right now it's hundred forty dollars you know to free man can't beat free <laughs> so some of the cons with dispersed camping is pretty much all the pros that a regular campsite has. So dispersed camping, there is no running water, there is no electricity, there is none of those basic amenities. So you gotta bring all that. <laughs> Another con with dispersed camping is it just takes a little bit more time to prepare for. Um, when you're out there in the middle of nowhere, uh, you gotta be prepared for anything. 
it could be a flat tire or your car breaking down or you know emergency make sure you have like your med kits and stuff so it just takes a little bit more preparing for so if you want to see how we prepare for dispersed camping i actually just made a video of our gear and our overlanding setup um, in this video it shows you guys how we eat how we sleep how we go to the bathroom how we shower everything remotely uh, go check it out i'll put it in the link in the description below you guys can watch that after this video and with that said that's pretty much the main differences to us like i said this is our opinion everyone has their own version of what overlanding is so regular campsites versus dispersed camping which one do we prefer as nice as a lot of these campsites are my wife and i still prefer dispersed camping you know, when we go camping in these remote, beautiful locations, it is just so exciting. And it's exciting from the time we leave the house to when we get to wherever we're going. A lot of the videos that you guys see, a lot of the locations that we camp at, we didn't really prepare for. Most of the time, we don't even know where we're going. We just know we're going somewhere. And that to us is literally most of the fun. So we do prefer dispersed camping to regular camping. Um, but like I said, when you disperse camp, just you need to be prepared a little bit more, prepare for anything, emergencies, breakdowns, just, you know, prepare for the worst and hope for the best, as they say. <laughs> and that is it for today's video, guys. Uh, I know this was a very brief explanation on what the difference is between regular camping and dispersed camping, but in a gist, regular camping you have all the conveniences stores bathrooms showers dispersed camping you don't but it's way more fun to get to these dispersed campsites to us <laughs> let me know what you guys think let me know in the comment section down below which one do you guys prefer regular camping or would you be down to try dispersed camping <laughs> So if you guys want to try overlanding or dispersed camping, like I said, I did make a video of all our gear, what we use, what we bring. Um, the video, we show you guys how we cook, how we shower, how we sleep, everything, what we prepare for, all the emergency gear that we bring might help you out or might help someone else out. Also, thank you to everyone that subscribed. My initial goal was to get to 100 subscribers, and I think we're a little bit over 200. So thank you guys for supporting this channel, for watching my videos, for liking them, sharing them, commenting on them. <laughs> and I'll see you guys at the next video. Peace.